Welcome to this introduction to binomial probability. Binomial probability means outcomes are broken into two categories, success and failure. Also, we repeat the experiment a certain number of times, but the probability of success and failure does not change with repetition. Here's an example. When we push a button, there is a 20% or 0.2 chance that a blue light will come on. We don't know what happens the other 80% of the time, but it does not matter. Anything besides a blue light is considered a failure. The experiment says we will push the button 10 times and that we want to know the probability the blue light comes on three times. Here is some of the variable notation that will be used. N is the number of times we push the button, in this case 10. R is the number of successes. Here we want the light to come on three times. P is the probability of success. Here the light comes on 0.2 or 20% of the time. Q is the probability of failure. This means no blue light. If the light comes on 20% of the time, then it does not come on the other 80% of the time. Because the problem does not directly state the probability of failure, it is good to know that 1 minus success is failure. Here's the formula for calculating binomial probability. You should recognize the NCR notation as a combination. Basically, you want to take all the ways to get three successes out of ten trials. Then you multiply it by the respective probabilities. Try it with your calculator. You should get close to 0 0.2013 depending on your rounding. This problem is a little trickier. Here you will accept less than three blue lights. This means the light comes on zero, one, or two times. You should use the binomial probability formula for all three probabilities and add the results. Here you get a total probability of 0.677. You can imagine that if you were to push the button 100 times, you could come up with some questions that would take a lot of work. The good news is that there is a much quicker way that will help you avoid errors. Here is a portion of the binomial table. Here you see columns for N, R, and P. Remember that if P is known, then Q is known. That is why Q is not listed in the table. In this example, we are told P is 0.1, N is 4, and R is 1. Find where these meet in the table. The probability of winning exactly once is 0.292. In the last example, n is 4 and p is 0.2. But we want r less than 3. In the table, we find r for 0, 1, and 2. We add these probabilities to get 0.974. Lastly, if you look in the table, you will see a lot of zeros. This comes because some probabilities are nearly impossible. 